go. So that, today we're going to be talking about how the clutch works in a car. This is a flywheel. It uh, attaches to the engine and spins at the same RPM as the engine or the crankshaft. This inside of here is called a pilot bearing. It supports the, crank, the flywheel on here. So this will go like this, or, sorry, like this on there. This is a release bearing. It goes on top of here and it is activated by this fork here, which is pivots. And it pivots because there's this and when you push your clutch pedal in, it'll push this back and make this come out. So if we look, we put the release bearing on, we push this in, the release bearing will come out when we let go, it will go back in. This is what we call a clutch plate. It goes on here, and it's flying to the input shaft of the transmission. So when it's spinning, the transmission is spinning at the same speed. Now this clutch plate goes between the flywheel and this clutch pressure plate. And when these two are pushed together, it will squeeze this together and making this spin, and thus making the transmission spin. This clutch pressure plate has forks on it, so when you push in, it will push this back. So if we put this together, the clutch plate will go on there, and pressure plate will go on top. So if these bolt together, right now they will be squeezed, but this release bearing it goes right here, so when you push this in, this will go out, making these forks go in, and releasing this, and then making this allow to spin freely on the, on the transmission.